The Dino Nobel facility here in Carthage, Missouri is the only manufacturer of dynamite here in North America today. In this building we make gelatin dynamites which are using nitrocellulose and the nitroglycerin and we squeeze them with an auger type process instead of any other, it's not a loose powder, it's actually a squeeze product, kind of like jello. This area is a magazine pocket. What we do in this area is we bring in shell trucks. We'll bring in powder into this pocket and offload the powder and take it into the building. We also bring crates of shells here to this location and bring the empty shells here so that we can fill the empty shells with dynamite. We have requirements on how many people can be in a building, three operators, five, uh, two transients for a total of five. No more than five people can be in a building at any one time. We bring the dynamite here into this building in hods. These hods hold about 400 pounds each. We keep them under cover and we have ventilation here to keep the fumes off so that the operators working here do not have extra fumes to breathe while they're working. A full hod will then be brought over here to this location. It would be lined up right in here. An operator would get, operator would get this shovel, which is a solid maple shovel, or we do have some shovels that are made with just plastics that we use also. And then he would shovel the dynamite out, the gelatin, and throw it up here onto the conveyor belt where it's taken up to be squeezed into shells. The powder is brought up the conveyor belt and falls into this bowl right here. In this bowl is an auger that has blades, some cutting blades and auger flights on it that push the powder down, down through the cylinder and down through a nipple plate. This sits right here. The tubes, empty tubes are brought over here into a shuttle. They're aligned over here. Squeezers turned on, forcing the powder into the tubes. It goes around in these different stages. The tubes get folded. The finished product's taken out, brought over here, placed in an empty box then brought over here and weighed on the scale for a 55 pound case. We tape up the box, we put in an always and nevers form which explains things you always do or never do with explosives if you want to keep living and we then take the finished box and put it out here onto a magazine truck. The truck is pulled up to the magazine area with this finished product where it's then loaded onto trucks and delivered to all of our customers.